Everybody, it is day one in Maldives, and today we're gonna to show you guys everything we do. I have some friends that I'm here with. So first, we need some coffee because I cannot digest food without coffee. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. Whoa. This is a bougie. Can I get an iced americano? So my daily coffee order, if you guys don't know, it's a iced cortado with whole milk and sugar. Everyone, this is my co-host. Uh, come, come. Hi so. guys, I'm Blaine. <laughs> um, Jade's well-respected partner. <laughs> this is our very first Surf Retreat hosting, and these are our two favorite guests. Uh, <laughs> Imagine the rest of the retreats watching like, <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Favorite. Bombastic. Side eye. I'm so stoked to be here with 12 of you guys. Wait, Sugar. Kyle, yes. Kyle was literally the first deposit. <laughs> Really? I'm not joking. Was it, it was. You saw Jade's post and you're like, I'm no, he locked in. He was the first. Sure. How did you find about this trip? Through you, stories. A lot of bad vibes from the surfing community yeah. in general, but you're the right one. It's like the always going for ways. And oh. For the hype, Kyle. So now that we have iced coffee, we're gonna go to breakfast. Show you guys what we're eating. Wait, why did I do that? So let's go to breakfast. I would say LA is like. Pretty. What's up, friends? Hey. What's up from the Maldives? You guys are missing out, dude. You should have come with us. True. I feel like I know. I've, I've, I make a lot of features on here. Yeah. I People feel should like know me. That. People yeah. should know who it is. I vlog. What's up, baby seal Jane? Can I say hi to my vlog? Hey, vlog. So every morning we have breakfast here at the uh, surfer train. Oh. Yeah. Right. This is the breakfast we're eating. It's tortillas that are homemade here. Egg and tuna coconut mixture. It's like a Maldivian yes. burrito. The whole crew is feasting. So I just changed into my outfit for surfing and I wanted to show you guys that all my surfboards made it to Maldives perfectly fine. So my new 5.7 board came in, my 5.8 board came in, and my 6.0 from Crescent Shapes also came in. And this is the entire surfboard rack for all the people staying here. And now we're gonna go surf. It's gonna be around a 10 minute boat ride to the break. And I'm so stoked. Hopefully I don't cry because as you guys know, I get really hard on myself with surfing because I wanna surf good. But also I have Asian trauma from playing 10 years of violin. So like I, <laughs> I'm still working on my self-talk and how I treat myself in the water. But it's a beautiful day. So let's go have fun. Waiting for the song. just finished surfing. I'm gonna be honest, not my best session. Right now I'm trying to learn how to do a better bottom turn and put my hand in the water. Essentially, I'm not doing things at the right time. Like I'm doing the movement, but at the wrong time. So it's becoming really awkward and I feel like I'm moving backwards in my surfing, not forwards. But that's a part of the journey and I think it's normal. I think also a lot of people today were saying that they were struggling catching waves just because there was a lot of sets and if you did take a wave and you fell, you would get caught in the inside, which would take forever to get back out. But the waves are super fun, and we're gonna now dive with some stingrays, and I'm really stoked. I found the water clarity in the Maldives to be absolutely breathtaking. The Maldives coral reef are among the most diverse in the world, and they filter matter from the water, making it extra clear. Everybody, 
<laughs> we have a special guest who just entered the villa. I am so happy right now. He's like, okay. <laughs> look, look at my room. Wow. Look at my room. Oh my god. Ew. Guys, comment below grosser core that he puts his board after serving in bed. Grosser core. It's got a core. Do you cuddle with it at night? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, no, but guys, for real, I was gonna say something profound, and now that you're here, you're the perfect audience. So I was telling him while I was snorkeling, I had a profound thought. Okay. I think the reason why I'm so hard on myself when I surf and I get frustrated is because, in therapy also, my therapist thinks we hold on to things that are even bad for us because sometimes it actually serves us a benefit. So for example, for me, I think I'm hard on myself in the water because then no one can reject me. It's like a self-defense mechanism. Before anyone else can you? Yeah, so if like Ryan's like, you can't paddle, it's like, I already knew that, like you can't hurt me. Which is not good though, because even though it serves me a benefit, in the moment I actually do believe it, like I'm a shit surfer, and that's not very projective. So I'm gonna work on that. That makes I like sense. That. What's your analysis on that? I love it, um, it is true. <laughs> you should not be so hard on yourself. It's 8.44 and we're getting coffee. Let's go. Hi, good morning. Could I get a iced latte with a little bit of milk? Iced latte with a little Every morning I like to take some electrolytes before I surf because I find that I lost way longer. So I have a little electrolytes. We are currently rolling out our pecs. Are you drinking bro left? And we're also rolling out. Paddle myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, the hand one. Um, whoa. What'd you say? How would you say I love Ryan's balls so much? Bro. <laughs> oh, does that feel good? Yeah, I feel like it hurts, but it's good. Yeah, sensational. That's what we want. Sensational. By the second day of our trip, so many people were getting sunburned that we made up our new word and we called it Zorched. Go around and say how Zorched you are on a scale of 1 to 10 this morning. 8 out of 10 Zorch this oh. morning. I'm pretty highly Zorched, 10 out of 10. I'm oh, at a 3. Zorch level out of 10. What is the highest 10? <laughs> Go on! You did not just ask that! Six. I think I'm at a 6. It's not Zorch, she's level 3, baby. Let's go. One. Honestly, it was really funny to be coached by these two Hawaiian boys who used to be pro surfers actually and their surfing is so good but they're explaining <laughs> they use some work but it was so fun. Even though I feel like I'm going backwards in my surfing, I am actually learning a lot and I am implementing what I'm learning, it's just gonna take time. But I am really proud today that my self-talk was a little bit better. Just a little bit. So we're gonna go have dinner now and I'll show you guys what we're having. Hello, Mama. Oh, Ian, look at his ear fluff. Oh my God. Mama is tiny. Whoa. Mama. Aww. 
So every night the retreat makes us dinner and while we're eating we usually play a game. This night we were playing telephone while eating a bowl of spaghetti with chicken and honestly it was really wholesome. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> so we're at this little grocery store in the Maldives that has literally everything, so let's get some snacks for tomorrow. So first I've been getting some chocolate milk. <laughs> this chocolate milk sucks. I know, you forgot your wallet, right? Oh, they were vlogging that? I mean, it's the theme. Everybody's spotting. I have my wallet, you dumbass! Alright. Anyways, okay, let's see, Mama. What's the best ice cream you've had here? Over there. Okay. Wait, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh. How's the trip so far, Blaine? The trip from has been really candy. great. Yes. I'm level 10 George today, so I took a time out from surfing. I know that's not very core of me, but um, we'll be back out there tomorrow. I'm Zorch too. I will say, guys, you didn't see this, but at dinner we were talking about our horrible. I was gonna eat that! We were talking about our horrible, like, fin accidents in surfing, and that kind of haunted me, and I might be in my head tomorrow now. You fin uh, accidents? We were talking about sex stories, dude. Yeah, what right? you... My parents watched this vlog, right? Good morning! Good morning. How was your surf this morning? It was insane. I am on cloud nine. It was, I, wait, wait, wait. Oops, Got a little oh, barrel. Wait. But yeah, otherwise we're gonna hit sultans and jails. I heard it's two good rights, or they are two good rights, and Jade is not as good at the rights. But we're getting, we're improving, and honestly, there was some alternative perspective for the surf coaching for Jade that I think is gonna elevate her to the next, next phase. Let's go surfing. I'm bringing my six. Oh, we're currently on our way to jails. It's gonna be a smaller surf break, and it's a right. But maybe that'll be good because I can practice going backside. So right now she's put a leash hole inside of the hole. Leash hole in the hole. Exactly. This is actually harder than I think. Hey Ryan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Guys, check out Ryan Lake's Luna to learn how to push your leash. I do pretty much everything. Oh. Thank you. Oh yeah, just put it. Put it on the top. This particular surf spot is called Cokes and it's extremely shallow with full of sea urchins during low tide. And uh, the next day I try to surf here and let's just say it didn't go so well. So I tried to surf this morning at Cokes, which is like a paddleable surf spot. You don't need a boat, <laughs> but the risk is this. Get it with the tweezers. It might hurt a little bit, but. <laughs> Fuck, it's so delicate. Fuck, I don't know why I can't do it. It's so delicate, dude. I need. <sighs> it's too delicate. You pinch it, I can get it. I can get it. <laughs> Will. Right to right oh, there. Yeah. Ow, Will, Will. It's gonna hurt no matter what. There's no way around the pain. <laughs> Got a big chunk of it. Oh, it's wheeled no more. It's like not gonna work. It keeps breaking. Yeah, I think you can just kind of like. <laughs> yeah, with this thing, just kind of. <laughs> with this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I see. Tell me if you feel like a, a chunk in there or not. Like, do you feel a foreign object in here? <laughs> Okay, got it. A few hours later, my foot still has some sea urchins, but we're gonna go surf. 
because apparently it'll be okay. The waves apparently are humping Ryan's at the seven foot faces and my foot has sea urchins in it. So um, if I make it out alive, I'm actually gonna be so stoked. If I don't make it out alive, wait, <laughs> this is the last time you're hearing from me. I can't believe a few hours after the sea urchin incident, I went surfing on this pretty big day to me. I was pretty scared just sitting out there. At the end of the session, we were looking for my friend C because she was nowhere to be found and turns out the current took her so far, she was literally in the middle of the ocean. Mama, you're in the middle of the ocean. There's no waves here. How long have you been here? See, how long have you been here for? How long have you been here? I keep waving. I hope he saw me. I saw you coming out, but these guys were falling. Me, you know? uh, so we just finished surfing. How was it? Oh, she did a really good job, despite the fact she was basically disabled with the... <laughs> What do you call that? With the urchin. <laughs> Disabled crazy. But see, it was absolutely charging. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It was just tough in general in those circumstances. And I didn't really surf my best, but I'm proud that I even went out. So well, sometimes- she just seemed very humble. Uh, She's really good. Like, hesitant, I'm very proud. You fucking challenged yourself. Yeah, you like, and she only be serving for three years. Just remember that, three Aww. years. I eat shit, I've been serving for five years. <laughs> but I'm so stoked. So we're gonna celebrate slash have a good time tonight and get a coconut. Three coconut, please. Okay. Yes, thank you. Three coconut. 245. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I really don't want to be ending a Maldives vlog with me crying. <laughs> Even though I smiled earlier and said we had a great surf, I was watching the footage back from last surf and all I kept thinking was how awful I surf, how kooky I look, how stupid my turns are. I'm not sending it on the right waves. It's actually embarrassing. Like I'm embarrassed that I'm even opening this out of my mouth because I just feel like surfing should, should be fun and it's a privilege. It's really the dumbest thing ever. I understand there's other problems in the world. Um, I'm just trying to share what I am experiencing because hopefully this can be helpful to one of you guys. So I'm going to take a break from recording surf clips, okay? <laughs> Um, me and my surf coach Ryan both agree this is best for me. So basically, um, I will be making vlogs just for the next two weeks. We'll be including surf footage. Um, just because I feel like it's not good <laughs> to always be in tears. This trip is supposed to be super fun. We're in the Maldives, like, and it makes me like super hurt that my brain chemically is like fucked or something because I can't be happy or proud of myself in any aspect of my life like even with content like all i keep thinking is like what am i not doing right and for the people who do care about my well-being thank you for checking in on me it means the world and shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner just comment below whatever and i'll talk to you guys later I am not joking. I hate to like be one of those people, but like my favorite surfer of all time reposted me on her story, aka Carissa Moore.
She said she likes my surfing progress videos. So all those Redditors in the fucking comments can go shut the fuck up. Because the GOAT, the GOAT watches the videos! Yay!